What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got great news as Saul Canelo Alvarez finally agrees, finally agrees to face off against Terrence Bud Crawford. Canelo Alvarez is doing a, I want to say a charity event, but he's doing a promotional event. He does golfing. He's like a professional golfer. That's his hobby, right? And while he's doing such, obviously, you know, there's people that understands what he does in his regular normal walk of life, which is he's a professional boxer. And so he was asked, what's the possibilities of him facing Terrence Bud Crawford. And he stated in the past, he really had little interest in fighting Terrence Crawford. But he says that Terrence Crawford is a great fighter. And he stated that he's gonna fight on his terms. Obviously we know that. He's gonna fight on his terms. And he's more than open to a fight with Terrence Crawford as long as they get the money right. So he stated that it's his excellency, Prince Turkey Al-Sheikh get the money right. As he stated he would, he says that he's open to making a fight between himself and Terrence Bud Crawford. That's huge. Because we know his excellency, Prince Turkey Al-Sheikh, he is more than willing to make this fight happen. Now, when it came down to him and David Benavidez, the Mexican Ecuadorian monster, Canelo Alvarez said he wanted 150 to 200 million dollars to make a fight with David Benavidez. And if they give him the money, he'll fight David Benavidez tomorrow, right? We know he's afraid of David Benavidez, right? We know he has no interest in fighting David Benavidez, regardless of what people tell you. People will tell you, you know, uh, fighters aren't afraid of other fighters. And I'm one that always says this, right? But Canelo Alvarez has made it abundantly clear. He has no interest in fighting the two-time WBC super middleweight champion, the undefeated Mexican Ecuadorian monster, David Benavidez. He has zero interest in fighting him, okay? And he doesn't have much interest in fighting Ter Terrence Crawford. And the reason being is because he understands that Terrence Crawford, who was a three division champion, undisputed two division champion and looking to become undisputed in a third weight class at 154. Terrence Crawford is going to make his debut at 154 pounds against Israel Majuma for the unified WBO and WBA title uh, August 3rd. And in his statement, Canelo Alvarez, he stated that, well, Terrence Crawford is three. Once again, he reiterated Terrence Crawford is three divisions below me. But at the same token, he knows now Terrence Crawford is going to be a two division uh, uh, below him fighter. Just like his last fight, well, two fights ago when he fought Jamel Charlo and Jaime Munguia made his qualms at 154 and 160. That was his last fight. So his last two opponents are historically 154 pounders. He knows that Terrence Crawford represents a major threat. Terrence Crawford is pound for pound the number one fighter in the world. People are going to try to make a case for Oleksandr Usyk. They're going to try to make a case for uh, Naoi Inoue, the Mexican, uh, I mean, the Japanese monster, right? Terrence Crawford became the undisputed two-division champion before both of them. And uh, Usyk is a heavyweight, period. Heavyweights don't belong on the pound-for-pound -pound list. They top three, but neither one of them are better than Terrence Crawford. Okay, neither one of them dominated their uh, uh, opposition the way Terrence Crawford dom. Well, I can't say that because anyway did dominate Cool Boy Staff, but Terrence Crawford absolutely dominated Errol Spence. Only saying the Usyk got lucky, and I thought he lost against Tyson Fury. Right, he got lucky in the Daniel Dubois fight, and he had close fights with Anthony Joshua. Terrence Crawford don't have close fights, period. So therefore, he's the best fighter in the world. And Canelo Alvarez understands style matchup. He understands and remembers what happened with him and Floyd Mayweather. And he knows Terrence Crawford is reminiscent of Floyd Mayweather. 
But if he gets paid correctly, see, he knows in the fight with David Benavidez, he might get stopped. David Benavidez is a six foot two, 75 inch arm reach. You know, uh, 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 24 wins by way of knockout. Extremely high work rate. Canelo Alvarez is very well aware of that. And he don't want to take that chance, period. So therefore, this is what he's going to do. He's going to, uh, 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 he like his chances better against Terrence Crawford than he does David Benavidez. But he's not too fond of fight, too fond of fighting either one of them, period. That's just it. That's all. So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out, man. But he says that he's open and willing. Uh, His Excellency, Turkey Ali Sheik, said he's willing to put the money up. Let's see if it, it all uh, uh, pans out. Hopefully it does. But it sounds like Canelo Alvarez now is open to a fight. He said, why not? Let's do it. That's what he said at the end. So let's make it happen. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.